Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm your bubbly blonde, fabulously drunk. Exchange.com and it's all about the men's show at the Javits Center and I am here with this Italian manufacturer and his representative introduce yourself to the camera dog Rolando Scapellato and Luciano Moresco tell my audience about your line well we uh, grab people by the neck <laughs> because we manufacture neckwear so we keep on that tradition. We have uh, two uh, seasonal uh, collections every year, spring, summer, and fall, winter. And this is the fall, winter, 2011. And as you can see, if the, if the camera goes on that table, they can see how they are choosing the ties. Basically, we're doing a great business because uh, neckwear consumption went down, but the people that are still wearing the tie, they do it by choice and therefore they want a great product and we supply a wonderful product it's called dolce punta dolce punta dolce punta soft point soft point soft point yes it means uh, a delicate point you know tell my audience what kind of a man loves to wear ties a man that is masculine a man that believes in traditions like you darling yes exactly and uh, like me and uh, luciano i even though i am a little bit taller than him i try to put some kind of ties that will uh, diminish me a little bit whereas he tries to put on a sharper tie to be a little bit uh, taller especially when we are together but wouldn't you agree that even if i am slightly shorter than him i'm more handsome than he is you both are very, very good-looking men, very, very handsome, very attractive, and your menswear line of ties is quite attractive. And I love the influence, it's very traditional looking. I could see that most of the ties here are very traditional looking, and I think that people do enjoy that. Yes, they are traditional, but they always have a twist. They are uh, somewhat colorful. And also, we do a product that is quite different. We do seven folds. We are the only company in the world that does an 11-fold tie. And also, we are the only company in the world that does a round, that hence the word, the, the name soft point. 
Do you notice this roundness on the shape? I've never Is noticed that before until you just clarify that I've never noticed that before it's and a man's tie yeah it is a subtle uh, new design and we we patented it so we are the only one in the world that do now this tell my audience for my viewers that watch uh, that are on Long Island they're big in the Hamptons uh -huh. they're big in Nassau County and Suffolk County and we catered to the luxury market in the Hamptons uh, where can they go on the internet to find out more information about these ties? Oh, dolcepunta.it. Spell it. Spell it. it. Spell it. Dolcepunta, D for David, O, L, C, E, P for Peter, U, N for Norman, T for Tom, A, dot oh, no, in Huntington. IT. In Huntington Station. Huntington yes. Station. Yeah, not Beach, Huntington Station in New York. And in the Hamptons uh, uh, is Edward Archer in Main Street in Southampton, I believe. Southampton, one of my favorite places to shop at. Yeah, Edward, Edward Archer. Edward Archer is the men's boutique. Correct. Excellent. Well, thank you, gentlemen, so much. Thank you. You're welcome. One more time, the website. www.dolcepunta.it Back. Salute. We'll be back in a moment, darlings, with Thank more you. interviews right here at the men's show at the Chaffetz Center in New York City. Pink champagne kisses. <laughs> We're here at the Market Show at the Javits Center, and I am here with the Jay Barnes Collection of men's shirts, and I'm here with one of their representatives. Introduce yourself to the camera. My name is Alberto Morello. I am the uh, Director of Merchandising for Jay Barnes Collection. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure, darling. So tell my audience about this fabulous men's line, shirt men's line. Uh, mostly shirts, you're right. Uh, Jane has been around for about 25, 30 years and uh, she is no more of a textilist than a stylist. Uh, we, for fall, we design all our shirts starting with the yarns down to the fabric and then we are actually a vertical uh, company so we actually design all the fabrics and, uh, and make all the fabrics in our own factory and we also Tell make the garments audience, in our own factory. What's hip? What's new? What's trendy? for the upcoming season? Uh, for fall, uh, first of all, we now have two different collections uh, so that we can target two different types of clientele. We have a gentleman collection where it's more about the fabrics, silk and silk blends, with a little shine for more that gentleman customer and also a slightly higher price point. Uh, and then we have a contemporary uh, younger collection called uh, JBID which is uh, mostly cotton fabrics and it's definitely a lot, uh, it's a little bit trimmer, but it's definitely a lot cleaner look than our Jane Barnes collection. How long has Jane Barnes been in existence? Uh, Jane Barnes, now I hope she doesn't see this because she'll probably get upset with him, but I believe she started in the 80s. Okay. So she's been around for a while. A long time. A long time, And it's yes. a well-made, established line. Absolutely. And of it, course, my audience would like to, they'd like to know about that because they want to, they people, they have customers that value what they spend their money on and they want to make sure it's a, an established line with a good fabrics, good merchandise, right? Yes, absolutely. Especially, I mean, our price points uh, for the regular collection, 150 to $400. So when you spend that type of money, you would like to get a garment that you know that it's quality. Quality and good value. Absolutely. Tell my audience, where can we find the line? Is it in all the department stores? Uh, Jane Barnes, currently it's in, uh, let's see, Neiman Marcus, several doors down in the south. We're in Saks, uh, a few doors, uh, a few doors of Nordstrom. And uh, most, I would say, probably about 150 audience, specialties. Where can we go to find out more information? What's uh, the website? The website is www janebarnescollections.com and you can see the whole story there you'll find out everything that you need jane is very uh loves uh, uh jane doesn't like to be in the public but however when it comes to like people reading up on her on the internet you will find everything that you want she loves it 
We'll be back in a moment, Dolly. Some more interviews coming up right here at the Market Show at the Javits Center. Big shout, big kisses. Japit Center for the men's line. And I'm here with this very, very distinguished gentleman who has his own line of men's suits. Sport coats. Sport coats. Hard trousers. Hard trousers. We also do women's. Women's line too. Yep. Yeah, skirts, trousers, and, and blazers. Mm -hmm. Introduce yourself, Tom. My name is Richard Greco. Mr. Greco, how long have you been involved with this brand? Well, I used to have a clothing company really all my life uh, and as far as this brand is concerned only for the last five or six years. I used to have a clothing factory manufacturing over 800 garments a, uh, a day. Uh, I sold it five or six years ago, retired, or thought I was retired, and then I got involved with this company making clothing in Santiago, Chile, and... Uh, Why Chile? Well, it has to do with uh, duties that, that we don't uh, have to, ha aren't, aren't involved there like they would be in other, other, other countries. And uh, I, I believe it's a free trade, free trade zone. We get mostly Italian peace goods, and, uh, but it's made in Chile, so basically we're known for beautiful fabrics. I at a very see that, good price. I see. And the texture yeah. is very fabulous. Very nice. Do you dress any movie stars? Uh, in this particular line, because we're kind of young, we're only about four to five years old, but when I was with my other company, yeah, people like Fred Astaire, Clark Gable, <sighs> All of those guys, you know, Sinatra. Um, really? Sinatra all, used to... Yeah, but they're all dead now. I know, I know. Yeah. You know, I was watching the Golden Globe Awards, yeah. and I was talking to somebody about it just now. Uh, Mr. Paul Giamatti, he won the Golden Globe, yes. but he needs some serious help with his wardrobe. Well, well there are a lot of people that, that do, and a lot yeah. of them don't really focus on it. I used to have friends of mine in the banking business who ended up skiing, going buying all kinds of great looking ski clothing but really we're oblivious to dressing a certain way and I used to educate some of them that wanted to be educated but uh, it's interesting I mean men not like women some of them they really just looking for body covering they don't really care I know, I know, but Fred Astaire, oh, he was oh, he one was of the great. best dressed oh, men of all time. Yeah, audience, yeah. uh, where can they buy the line? Now, I understand there you could also buy the line in uh, a men's store in Connecticut. Yeah, there's a store in Connecticut called R. Derwin, who carries both the men's and the ladies. Tell my clothing. audience the website for them to go to to find out more information about your men's store. rng.com. Fabulous. Pretty good. Is the right? best. See, I didn't even know that we had we had such a sophisticated uh, company. You We're do. That's why I grabbed it. Cheeks, it's very European. Yes, darling. Yeah. And we will be back in a moment, right here at the market show at the Jazz. More interviews coming up. Pink champagne kisses. Fantasy dress to impress. One of a kind. Girl. It's been a Crybaby Productions, darlings.